Hey everybody, welcome to Enliven Wellness. My name is Tessa and I'm really honored to be here to share with you a couple of tips about what you can do when you're diagnosed so that you don't go nuts. All right, I know that a lot of you out there get a lot of these like diagnoses, right? And this video is actually inspired by one of my beautiful clients and she was having a really rough time when it came to a diagnosis that she got. And I realized that like a lot of you out there are getting a bunch of diagnoses and it can be really fucking scary. So pardon my language, but it can be really fucking scary. And with that being said, you know, you, we have to keep in mind and we have to remember that we are not the diagnosis. The diagnosis is just a word for a cluster of symptoms that you're experiencing. That's all that is. So a diagnosis is just a cluster of symptoms. It's just a word for a cluster of symptoms that you're experiencing. And when I sort of like broke down my diagnoses in that way, it made me feel less horrified, right? So like it made me feel less like, oh my God, like, oh my God, like I was just diagnosed with Lyme disease or oh my God, I was just diagnosed with Epstein-Barr, you know, like, what does that mean? And what's that going to mean for my future? You know, so like that was, that was my experience when I first, like when I was like going through diagnoses and, and getting all these different diagnoses and I was like, what the hell does that mean? You know? And it was like, I, I sat back and I consciously had to say to myself, I'm not going to take those diagnoses and live out the, the prediction of those, right? So like I legitimately was like, no, not gonna do that. And I remember literally like the morning after I got diagnosed with Lyme disease, I was walking with my boyfriend, my now ex-boyfriend into the gym and I was like, so what exactly does this change, right? Like I was like, I don't even know like what this even changes. And, and he was like, you know, you're totally right. And I was like, yeah, you know, like I just don't, I'm not going to like sit here and like fester in the fact that I was just diagnosed with Lyme disease. I'm just going to do something about it and, and go forth. Right. Like, and I'm not saying like, if you're having grief and anxiety and those kinds of things around your diagnoses, then I totally get it. Like I, I've been there, done that, you know, like there, there is that level of fear that can be there about like what this is going to mean for your future. Like what this means for your health in the future. Like, are you going to die? You know? Like all of these questions can go through your mind and it's just, it's like one of those things where you just have to be like, okay, I can either completely buy into this diagnosis or I can just acknowledge it and say like, it's just a label and then move on. You know, they like work of like Dr. Joe Dispenza and Bruce Lipton, they have shown that it's when you are diagnosed that a lot of times like when somebody's diagnosed with cancer and they're said like you know they say like oh you have six months to live that person will die in six months because that's what was expected of them you know these predictions it's called medical hexing by the way there's a term for it it's called medical hexing and medical hexing is when you like are told one thing about like how you how you're going how it's going to be when you get diagnosed with whatever and then you literally like go and your, your soul like runs with that. Okay. Your soul runs with that. And like, if you believe in it, if you buy into it, and I'm not saying like, don't pay attention to diagnoses, like, please know that. But what I am saying is like, second guess, if you are buying into those diagnoses, second guess that. And, and my encouragement is to sit back and like realize legitimately, like it's just a name. It's just a name for a cluster of symptoms that you're experiencing and that's all. That is all that a diagnosis is. So with that being said, some of the things that you can do to kind of overcome these feelings of fear is to one, again, recognize that it's just a name for a cluster of symptoms that you're experiencing, okay? Two is to meditate and to let go of all the fear that's all wrapped up around this diagnosis. Like do not go like so far into the future with everything in your mind. Like don't start to go into what I like to call storyland where it's just like, oh my God, what about this? And what about that? And what about this? And what about that? And what about this? And what about that? And what about this? And what about that? Like stay here now and do the next right 
thing. That's all. That's all you've got to do is just the next right thing. Like, don't, you know, what do I do next? 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 That's it. Okay, and then number three is do the next right thing. So, so stay in the present, think about the next right thing that you have to do, and then go do that. So whether it's, you know, go get, you know, a health coach, right? Like go get somebody who can help guide you through this process. Maybe it's, okay, now I need to like make a list of some of the, the things that, you know, I need to take for this. Or maybe it's, okay, now I need to go get a second opinion. Or maybe now it is, I'm going to do a little bit more research on this diagnosis. And don't go into like what I like to call being Dr. Google, where you are like Googling all of your symptoms and like just going freaking bananas over them. Like seriously, you guys don't go there. It's so not good for you. It's so not good for your stress levels. So stop it. <laughs> um, you know, do a little bit of research. You know, just do a little bit of research. Find something out and find out a little bit more about what's going on. But again, don't go too deep because then you can go into that predictive cycle of symptoms, right? You can go into that predictive cycle of symptoms. And that is like, that's what's going to pull you down the fastest. So with that being said, everyone, like I know like how, how much of like the struggle bus it can be when you have gotten diagnosed with some kind of chronic condition. Um, and I believe, believe me, I was diagnosed with like Epstein-Barr and mold and, and uh, you know, Lyme and um, Giardia and I mean like, oh goodness, MTHFR, HLA-DR, you know, like so many diagnoses were coming at me and I just kind of sat back and I was like, not gonna buy into these, right? Like I really, I'm not going to, you know? And that's partially why I am doing so well now. Like, because I didn't, I didn't choose, I chose not to just buy into the symptoms, didn't buy into the diagnoses. You know, I was like, okay, this is just a word and I can overcome this and I'm just going to move forward and keep moving forward. So that's what I've been doing since then. And I really encourage you to do the same. I'm not saying don't pay attention to the diagnosis. I'm not saying like be a complete ostrich, right? But at the same time, don't totally buy into like that label. And don't, don't totally live out that label's predictive future for you because you can actually manifest those very conditions. You can actually manifest those very conditions in your life. And I don't think that's what you want to do. You want to like overcome these. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a little bit more soothing and some like pep talk for if you've been diagnosed. And of course, if you've been diagnosed with something crazy and like, you know, you're feeling really afraid and you need some guidance, please email me at tgirly7 at gmail.com and I would love to guide you through this journey and help you and teach you the things that are helping me on my own road to recovery. Um, I'm doing so much better nowadays. I mean, I like so much better and I would love to teach you how to get there as well. Also check out my website, enliven-wellness.com. Also join us live on Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. or like, probably about like 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Just make sure you have your notifications turned on so that you're notified whenever I go live. And I do often. So I love this community so much. I love building it. So thank you so much for being here and tuning in. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And we will be back together soon. Good to see you. And I love you. You are loved. There is hope.